Hello students. In this problem we're going to solve this first order linear ODE. It's non-homogeneous. It has a function on the right hand side. And at the end uh, we are going to derive something called Duhamel's integral or Duhamel's principle. I guess it's called in uh, many textbooks. Here we go. Um, I'm going to do it uh, for a special case where this coefficient is a constant. I'm going to call the constant d. Um, this is more often the form we're going to need. Um, this could generalize and we could have a, another integral on the inside, but um, to demonstrate the principle, I'm going to leave this as a constant and um, I think it's going to be easier to follow. Um, d is uh, going to be uh, some constant. Um, let's just assume it's greater than zero for our purposes. Um, okay. Um, I'm going to solve this by integrating factor, and of course remember that the integrating factor is the exponential uh, raised to the integral of uh, this uh, coefficient. And so that means that um, if we integrate um, a constant, we'll just get dt. So the integrating factor is e to the dt. So I'll multiply everything by e to the dt. And you'll recognize that on the left-hand side, um, that looks like the product rule. So I'll just collapse that down to uh, the derivative of e to the dt times y. And on the right hand side we just have f of t times e to the dt. And um, I'm going to do one more thing for the purposes of this video is uh, I'm going to suppose an initial condition. Um, and uh, I'm going to, um, you'll see this, this will actually look pretty cool um, once I put the initial condition in there. All right, so uh, now I'm going to integrate both sides, and on the left-hand side, of course, um, when I integrate a derivative, we just get the um, e to the dty. That's the fundamental theorem of calculus. On the right-hand side, I'm integrating from t naught to, of course, t, and um, I could have made it that I was integrating from t naught to t on this side as well, and then um, uh, done that integration, but um, I think it's easier to see if I just uh, throw in this arbitrary constant and um, and then solve for the initial condition. So um, I'm going to hit everything with e to the minus dt and then uh, this is the same thing as integrating from t naught to t on this side. Um, if I plug in t naught then um, this integral here will go to zero and um, I'll get c e to the minus dt naught is equal to y naught and then c is equal to e to the dt naught y naught. Um, I would have gotten the same result if I would have um, integrated from t naught to t on this side. Uh, okay, so then um, that means that my solution now, um, if I take um, my coefficient c is e to the dt naught and I plug it into here, so I'll get this term here, and um, everything looks fine. I have e to the minus dt in front of the integral here. And then what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to factor out a mi I'm going to I'm going to factor out a minus d here because I have the same basis. That means I add the exponents. So I'm going to factor out a minus d and uh, when I do that I'll get a t minus t naught. Okay that's going to look familiar. Now this is an integral the, um, with respect to tau, so the dummy variable here is tau, so that means I can slip this term right into this integral, right past this integral sign, uh, without adding ag any extra terms due to Leibniz's rule. And uh, when I do that, um, I'll be adding these exponents as well, so I'm going to factor out a minus d, and when I factor out a minus d, I'll get a t minus tau. So you'll see that that looks similar to what I have here, t minus t naught. Um, so that's going to pretty up this expression. And um, when I do that, um, I slip that pass and I um, change the order here. So I'll have e to the right, I factor out the minus d. So I'll have e to the minus d, t minus t naught. And then the integral, uh, if I push this term inside of the integral, um, I get this, this it's called a kernel, um, e, k e r n e l, um, e to the minus d, t minus tau, um, multiplied by the right hand side so I get this uh, it's called a convolution integral um, I'm convolving this decaying exponential with this uh, function here and um, this whole solution now um, we call this uh, dual mills um, dual mills integral or this is called dual mills principle and this um, function satisfies this initial value problem and you could check that once again if you plug in t naught 
you get um, oh whoops I forgot um, something very important here I forgot a why not didn't I um, so I'll need to put a uh, a why not in there so sorry about that so I'll need to put a why not in and I'll need to put a why not there okay so um, if I put in T naught, then um, this becomes uh, e to the zero, which is one. I get a y naught, and if I put a T naught in for the integral, this integral goes to zero, and I'm left with y naught. Okay, and that's confirmed by that's the way we solve for our constant of integration. Okay, that's Duhamel's principle. Good luck.